Here's what to do when your iPad won't charge. Step number one, hard reset. Hard reset, why? Because it's possible that the software actually froze on your iPad, but it froze on a black screen, not like it usually freezes on an app or something. So if it's frozen on a black screen, all you need to do is hard reset your iPad. Mine is actually not, not charging. Spoiler. Yep, mine will charge. iPad will charge, but that video would be much less popular. So to hard reset an iPad, without a home button. Quickly press and release the volume up button, then the volume down button, then press and hold the top button on your iPad until the Apple logo appears on the screen and then let go. So mine is on, it's about to turn black. While this is resetting, I will say home button, power button if your iPad has a home button. Indeed, look at that, Apple logo. For a lot of people, this probably just fixed the problem. If it did, give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe on your way out the door. We'd really appreciate it. We've got a lot of iPad fix videos for you. Yep. If the hard reset didn't work, our next step is to clean out your iPad's charging port with an anti-static brush. Or a toothbrush you've never used before. So you can be kind of aggressive. Just get in here with this thing. You can't be aggressive if you're using something you shouldn't use, like a toothpick or something metal. Thumbtack. Thumbtack. Don't use that. Nothing metal, nothing that could damage it, but an unused toothbrush, I'd, I'd even go so far as to say you could get a hard one and use it, like this one. A lot of the time it's that clogged charging port that's preventing your iPad and your charger from making a clean connection and it just... Yep, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't charge. That's why you're here. Yep. Hopefully that fixed it. If it didn't, try a different, you know, different power charger. Yep. Different charging cable, different power outlet. Right, if you're using this charger with an iPad, it's gonna take forever to charge. It will charge, but iPad chargers are more powerful. Yep. But definitely, it should still charge, just slowly. One thing you need to make sure of too is that your iPad is within standard operating temperatures. Like don't charge your iPad out in the hot sun. The standard operating temperatures are 32 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So don't charge it in a blizzard. Well, this sucks. Or in the sun. This isn't gonna be the issue for 99.9% .9 of people, but we just wanted to make you aware that is a potential problem. Hot temperatures can permanently damage your iPad's battery. Cold temperatures cannot, but it won't work until it heats back up again. There you go. Yep, next, connect your iPad to your computer. See if it shows up in iTunes if you have a Mac running 10.15 or earlier, or is it 10.14? 10.14. Or a PC, if you have a Mac running 10.15 or newer, it'll be in Finder. See if it shows up there. There might just be a display issue right. with your iPad. Because that would mean that the screen is, is actually on, but you can't see it because the display is broken. And if it doesn't show up on your computer, back it up. Back it up. Could have a software problem. Probably does if there's a display problem or Actually, it might be a hardware problem. And in any case, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Back, back it up. up. It's a good idea to back it up anyway, even if everything's okay. Our next step, really the last step to roll out a software problem is a DFU restore. A DFU restore takes everything off of your iPad, all the software, I mean, and puts it back on again. Make sure you know your home Wi-Fi password and that you have a backup before you do a DFU restore. To do that, watch our video about how to DFU restore an iPad. Card above. It's kind of a process. Description section below. If your iPad still won't charge, bring it to Apple. Right. Make an appointment first before you go to the Apple store because they might send you away if you don't have an appointment. They love doing that. So make an appointment, bring it to the Apple store. You can bring it to a mom and pop shop. Sometimes these types of repairs can be very expensive through Apple because they'll have to repair and replace the entire iPad. It's less than buying a new one, but it's still hundreds of dollars. Sometimes depending on the model, the mom and pop shops can actually just get in there and replace the charging port. So you might want to investigate that if you have an iPad that isn't still under warranty. And it was kind of long winded, but if you bring it to a mom and pop shop, with a, it voids your warranty through Apple. You're on your own. So that's a long winded explanation, but hopefully helpful. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you'll consider joining this channel like all these fine folks here. All right. So, okay, that's very helpful. All right, we've got Nikita Savoy with a very cool mask on. Mm. Philip Olinger, Robert McBride, all right? We've got Brenda Thompson. She's a David Plus. We got Thomas Macy. And one of our favorite members, Ed Kelly, who is super active and we really appreciate it, Ed. Thank you for being a member. These people and all of our members got early access to that iOS 15 battery settings video. Right. Discord access, giveaways. Yeah. 
And we've already given away a four pack of air tags. We've given away some headphones. Some awesome headphones. Yeah. Hop in, become a member. Join this channel. We'd appreciate great, it. A lot of great perks. Also, subscribe or just give this video a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that to any of the above. Or all of the above. Or all of the above, preferably. But I mean, you know, like if we actually fixed your problem here and you're still watching, you kind of owe us a subscribe because we just saved you like hours of your day. The least you can do is and subscribe. We'll help you fix your iPad again. Thanks for watching.